And there's a quote as well, like you are where you are because of your current beliefs and actions, right? If you want to achieve things in life, you need to change your current beliefs and actions. Doing the same thing won't actually move you forward in life. And that's really important to understand as we go forward as well. So what I want to do, instead of kind of telling you, like, oh, here, here are the ways to... Um, uh, here are the ways to become successful right what i want to say is okay here's what to avoid right and that kind of helps you understand it a bit more and then whenever you're doing those things because most likely the reason why you're not uh, in the situation that you want to be in in life is because you're not doing the right things right so a lot of things i'm going to mention here they will deeply resonate with you and you're going to think, ah, oh, I'm doing that. I'm doing that. I'm doing that. So you need to get rid of them, right? It's going to take obviously a process going to take some time, but you need to get rid of these things. Right. So I'm just going to mention them out. Um, and then in the chat, you, you guys can just mention, yep, that's me or yeah, I've experienced that. All right. Um, so let's continue. So if you want to fail in life, start tomorrow, just keep starting tomorrow, start tomorrow, start tomorrow, start tomorrow. That's all you got to do. That's the, that's like one of the best recipes to fail in life. Just don't get anything done now. Just start tomorrow. Right? <laughs> and I know like a lot of us are procrastinators as well and analysis paralysis people. So that's, um, you know, that's why I'm laughing because I used to always do this. I used to always say, you know, I, I can't be asked. Let's just put the PlayStation on and let's, let's do it tomorrow. <laughs> right? um make excuses right a lot of people blame their circumstances and they make excuses if you want to fail you just keep making excuses keep blaming your circumstances never improve yourself and never improve um yeah never improve yourself basically and just keep making excuses and don't do any action to towards getting better right uh consume lots of content and do nothing Right. So a lot of people, again, because obviously we're in the information era, there's so much information era, uh, out there. If we just implemented the information that we had, I'm sure we'd get really far in life. Right. And this can go with anything. This could go with Islamic knowledge. This could go with um, uh, stuff in your careers. This could go with finances, this could go with health. Right. So, for example, if someone's, um, uh, um, you know, like smoking, right, obviously they know it's not good for them. Right. But they're just consuming content about, health and all that stuff but they're smoking like you just need to change it right you need to actually do the action okay uh, another one is take advice from poor people or those who haven't started businesses or those who haven't um had or uh, yeah attained high income skills right so basically taking advice from the wrong people okay when it comes to businesses and online income so if for example uh you're talking to people about a particular opportunity it would be good to talk to uh, people to get their perspective but the best types of people to talk with are people who have already been in that online opportunity or people that have uh, experienced a similar type of online opportunity right because if you talk to the people that haven't experienced an online opportunity at all they're just going to laugh at you right because i remember i remember this very very clearly when I first got into sales, I, I invested in a 2000 pound, 2000 pounds program. Right. And this taught me everything about how to get into the sales industry. Right. And uh, this particular program, I invested in it and straight away, and this was a mistake straight away. I told my family. Right. And then my, you know, my parents were like, what, what are you doing? Like, it, you know, they'll be angry. Right. Um, and look, it, they obviously love us. They care for us. It's a natural reaction, right? They don't want you to lose out. So that's why they're saying it, right? So there's no ill feeling or anything, but but that's what they said, right? And then one of my other family members, he said, he just started laughing. Oh, you got scammed. You got scammed, right? <laughs> so that's the type of responses I received straight away. And that's the type of kind of advice uh, or comments that I got from people that aren't really in that industry. So they don't really know about it, right? Um and that's like a general rule in life as well, is that if people kind of do things that would uh, be negative in your kind of eyes, then you just need to understand that th their level of understanding of that thing is not quite there yet. Right. So that's why they've done it. And this is how you have like forbearance, like Islamically as well, which is a very good trait. Uh, but I digress. Um, so, yeah, don't take advice from people. And to be honest, when people like that, like you, especially your family members, and they say like those types of things like, no, no don't do this, just focus on your career, etc. Then it just creates a lot of doubt in your own mind because you're thinking, oh, you know, you know, this is what my beloved family said to me. Am I in the right opportunity? Did I get scammed? 
is that you know you just start thinking a whole lot of different things and then you don't actually do the work that you need to get there you don't implement the program because you're still thinking about is it the right thing or not right so um yeah <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, does anyone resonate with these? Or am I just saying some abstract stuff? You guys can write in the comments, inshallah. Um, failed once. <laughs> this is a good one. Failed once, quit forever, right? If you want to fail in life, then whatever you try, if you just fail at it a little bit or fail at it once, then you just quit it forever, right? That's how you fail in life, right? <laughs> um, so we've got a comment here. Yes, relatable, definitely resonate. Yeah, yeah. All of these are related to me, <laughs> all the times yeah all of these are related to me as well that's why i put it on there there's no shame in ha having these now we know them we've got to turn it around basically i can relate yeah 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 okay perfect thank you for the comments um think that the world is fair right don't think that the world is fair the world is harsh right you like the people that are are up there is like you know it's not fair sometimes for example you're in a job um, and you guys are, can probably relate to this. You're in a job. You're like one of the best at what you do. But then there's this random person that's just come in. And because they're friends with the managers and that, they get promoted. When you're the one who should be getting promoted, but they're getting promoted, right? So the world is not fair, okay? Um, blame your circumstances and complain, right? If you want to fail, just keep blaming, 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 keep complaining, keep being an armchair critic. Oh, the only reason he's successful is because of this. The only reason he's made money is because of this. No, keep doing that. And then you, you just stay poor all your life, basically, right? Uh, or, or you just fail in life in general, right? Um, be a wisher to have a life of ease and comfort, right? Um, so another way to fail is to just be a wisher, right? Just wish, oh, you know what? I wish that life was easier right or for example sometimes like when people see things on social media or they see influencers or even like they see a movie or something and like, you know what I, I, I wish i had that life i wish i had that life yeah okay you can wish it but you're not going to get it right so just buckle down and do some work and then get to where you want to right that's how it is um that's life so expect people to save you okay don't expect people to save you okay like the only people you should like um like lean on obviously is your family right um and obviously more importantly allah uh but in general in general with regards to uh, the world itself then don't expect anyone to save you you, ha you have to save yourself right you have to do the work yourself you have to figure things out yourself okay uh, avoid discomfort, right? If you want to fail, just avoid any discomfort. Anything's a bit hard, anything's a bit scary, anything, oh, I'm not too sure. Just avoid it. You fail in life, guaranteed. Uh, to tolerate mediocrity, right? Um, so one of the ways to fail in life is just to continue being mediocre. What I mean by being mediocre is that you know deep down you can be a lot better than what you are. You have a lot more potential, right? But you just want to tolerate mediocrity. You just want to have a chill life, you're just kind of one of those people that say, you know what, I'm just going to pray five times a day and just get paradise, right? Like, you know, you're not going to strive towards anything better, right? And you're not going to strive to do more good deeds. And even Islamically, being mediocre is, is looked down upon, right? It's, it's not the right thinking to have. You should be striving your best for everything. Uh, wait for perfect, wait for perfect conditions, right? <laughs> this is a good one. Because uh, a lot of people, you know, especially when I'm closing on the phone, right? I've, I've closed $3 million in sales altogether. I've closed so many different coaching programs. One of the main things I hear, oh, you know what? It's not the right time yet. I, I, I would do this. If, if it was a few months ago, I would have done it. But no, 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 it's not the right time. <laughs> I get this all the time. That's a perfect way to fail at life. That's the absolute perfect way to fail at life. Um, avoid working on what matters most, right? So, like, for example, you've got a big task in front of you and you know that there's one thing that you need to keep doing to get to the goal that you have, but you don't do it. You do everything around it. Right. Like, for, for example, losing weight. Right. You don't um, eat uh, the right foods. Right. But you just do everything around it. You know, maybe you um, I don't know, you have some supplements or something like that but you, you, you're still eating bad food basically right um or you're doing like uh you know a few weights here and there but you're still eating bad food like the do the main thing do the main thing right uh talk more do less this is another way to fail just keep talking keep talking keep talking keep thinking and then just don't do anything yeah another way to fail is start something new every day right so don't commit to something right for a long time just start something new every day, right? One day I'm gonna do Amazon. One day, you know what? This program seems good. Let me try that. Oh, oh, 
this guy said you can make 10k a month doing this okay yeah let me try that <laughs> it's just not gonna work that's how you fail that's how you fail be inconsistent right another way to fail is be inconsistent right don't put in um like because even uh, islamically you know allah says one of the most, most beloved of deeds is that which is done consistently right consistency has a lot of merits right because you, you're able to commit something you're able to do it you're able to perfect it you're able to master it and in business when you master something then you get paid more for it right um think short term always this is a good one as well a lot of people think short term a lot of people think oh you know what if i invest in this program or if i start this online income i need to make 10k a month right away in the first like two three months otherwise it's a, it's a scam it's this or that right now you need to think long term right everything that you're doing in life like life is quite long life is quite long right there's a statement where i think people underestimate what they can do um people overestimate what they can do in one year and they underestimate what they can do in 10 years and that's very true because people don't really plan for that long right people just look at for example you know what um this opportunity can i make money from it right away uh, nah forget it forget it then I'll, I'll, I'll just stick to my job but then two three years down the line they're still in the same place but if they took that step two, three years down the line, they'll be in a better place, right? So always think long-term with opportunities as well. Uh, focus on the outcome. So another way to fail is focus on the outcome, not the inputs and processes to get to the outcome. This is really important. This is something I've recently discovered as well. Let me just let these uh, brothers and sisters in, inshallah. Um, because when you just focus on the outcome, although it's good, obviously, to have an end goal, that's fine. I'm not saying that. But when you're just focusing on the outcome, then you're not going to, um, like, if you don't get it, then you're going to be really demotivated and you, you, you're going to give up eventually, right? So let's say, for example, uh, again, the example of losing weight, right? So if you focus on the outcome of, oh, you know what, I need to lose one kg today, um, this week, and I, I need to lose one kg this week, right? And then um, you're not doing the inputs to get there, but you're just thinking, you know what, I, I need to do it, I need to do it, I need to do it. And that's all you're thinking. And then at the end of the week, you get angry because you didn't reach it. That's like, that's your fault because you didn't put the inputs and processes in. What you need to do is just focus on the inputs, the habits, the processes, and then the outcome will automatically come. All right. And that's how you win in life. So uh, another way to fail in life, though, is keep looking at and valuing other people's lives over improving your own. So this is kind of in tandem with um, being a wisher to have a life of ease and comfort. You know, when you keep thinking about other people's lives and how their lives seem so good on social media or in movies or series or whatever it is that you watch or whatever, um, you know, and you're just thinking, you know what? I wish I had that. Life would be so much easier, right? But, you know, you've got your own life. You've got to work at it. Um, because you want to make your life something that, wow, you know, this is a really good life that I have, right? Uh, keep wishing that you were someone else, right? This is another way to fail. Keep wishing that you were someone else. Another way to fail is don't go out of your comfort zone. Anything that scares you a bit or anything that, oh, you know, it's a bit risky or it's a bit scary or um, I, I don't know how to do it. I haven't done it before. Just don't do it. And then that's a way to fail in life. Another way to fail is don't be accountable or responsible, right? Um, just blame others basically and just um, make excuses uh, another thing is wait to be told things and don't figure out anything for yourself right <laughs> um, so again just taking initiative really right